Oh my god, and now we have two egos. Oh snap, but what if I do it again? <gasps> Three egos? That is just the most egotistical thing I've ever heard of in my life. Yo, what's up? What's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here, back with Arcade and Aki Survival. I just, okay, I just got off for a couple hours, eight since the last episode. I never record them back to back. I usually wait days in between so you guys can name stuff and stuff like that, but this time I just had it because I'm going to Scotland. I got a kind of stockpile and that whole thing, and I got in. I don't mean to spoiler for anybody from last episode, but I just saw the damage done, and I was so instantly heartbroken. I don't know if it's just because I was in a good mood or what, but I forgot about all the atrocities that took place and to be honest it's we're still in a very rough spot from last episode i have nothing else gathered i mean all right so first off just we have to go to the upside down the area i generally try and avoid for most reasons is where we have to go to get all of our elements and all of our rare resources to you know recreate everything they've destroyed so we can get back on our army building our entire army building facility has been squashed by the enemy uh, you guys, what a downfall, what, what a boner that is. And this, I, just, I saw this little guy, because I was, what's, what's up with this, bro? What's up with that? What's up with that, and what's up with that? Alright, well, that's, that's extremely intriguing right there. A prognothodon. That thing looks epic. There's our fish tank. I don't even think our fish tank can hold this, but look at this. We have warden spawning all over the place, dude. I just I just don't even know I feel like the land is really over I mean we are taming epic beasts like the celestial like I'm, I have oh by the way Can you guys remember to use this Varen saddle works now it worked last episode also, but I totally forgot We do have a giant Kaiju type situation going on. We got to really milk that thing Actually, let's go ahead and check that creature out in combat right now. Shall we? Let's go. Oh my god I just saw all of our poison wolves from like episode 20 such such simpler times, man. Here's episode 20. Oh my god, the simpler times are real. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys are enjoying Arcane and Aki. We have so many freaking bananas. So many bananas. We don't have any bananas. What am I talking about? Go make a saddle. Forgot I had a rare one just ready to go for this thing specifically. I had it last episode too. I was supposed to do this last episode. Look at this though. This guy's name is Casino Vaggie. Now, if you're if you're like for real familiar in my Discord, then you know what's going on. But Casino Vaggie, that was a joke maybe like two months ago. Since then, so much has changed. This joke is so far past dead, it's insane. The person who even originally said it doesn't even exist in the Discord anymore. That right there just makes me think this survival series has been alive for so spanking long. Like a long time. As long as I've been alive for the most part. So yeah, leave a like for Anunnaki. Stuff's baller. Alright, Varen, so you do work now, correct? It's a rare saddle. Which one use it? Should I, I only even had Blue's rare! Haha! -ha. Oh, it works now. Oh, look at us up here on our magnificent, mega giant, sexy beast. Alright, now we do want to get this thing to max level before boosting it in that one chest thing. Let's see here. I can't look at numbers. Everything's just one big blurry ball of crap to me in my life. I think. I think that's a thousand. That's three digits, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What is that? Two billion health. That's pretty strong, but you never know how... Th okay, two million damage, two billion health. Without even leveling you, if you can't destroy this one... I'm, I, I'm not fighting this one. I'm not dealing with that warden radius damage ever again. Hell no, son. Oh my god, you just... It's, it's like feed and grow fish, but a hardcore version. Yeah, what the hell was that creature over here? I need to look at you while I'm in here. I want to see what one level does. I want to see, come on, come on, level, you idiot! I don't think it'll happen because I may have broken it and brought him to the machine first. Hopefully we still can. It's over there. It's magnificent looking. It looks huge too. Anything that looks big while you're on this creature is huge. We swim like Zilla 1998. Alright, what's going on, you poop butt? Really should not have brought you into the machine first. I think I'll still be able to level you up eventually though. All right, let's do this thing. Oh my god. He's flinging us across the ocean. We're losing a bit of health. See, the thing about wardens is they damage you based on your health. So like, like they do percentage damage. Doesn't matter how much health you got, they'll still take a toll. Let's just go ahead and consume these large experience potions. That was actually sketchy. We have some Triceratops DNA. I don't remember masturbating a Triceratops in that fight, but whatever you say so, Chief. 
All right, these levels do look like they're working. They're just the, the buttons. I'm clicking the button crap out of it. This is a good mouse too. 550 DPI. It's perfect for dome shotting suckers with pumps in Fortnite, but it's gotta work. Bye, don't work. Your mom's is a total thought anyway. Celestial Anki sound. We'll take that. And your essence. The point being, of course, that the creature is, it's good. It's a good beast. It's a worthy foe to bring against Thanos. But the issue here, my dear, and this is what concerns me so. Now, Jay, the Viking of my Discord, uh, did give me a good plan, basically, because there is something like a spirit wyvern or something like that, which is supposed to be the absolute bee's knees. Now, the spirit wyvern, the plan is to we have to defeat the Chaos Guardian first to get the spirit wyvern, but apparently the spirit wyvern might be the creature we're going to have to really rely on to defeat Thanos, because, I don't know, dude. I, I, in the spirit line, I, like, I'm just, Thanos is so powerful, it just seems to be such a hopeless thing. I'm just like, I don't know, if, if, if I swear, if I swear to God, if I get like that spirit wyvern, and we got freaking Baron over here, we have Ego, we have the world snake, the other Pokeball in my hotbar, all these creatures, if they, I think that's the sound of my dog trying to gain access. Oh, no, I'm just losing my mind. Oh my God, they worked against me. They plotted. Yeah, jetpack, boy, look like a fly up higher than you. But um, I swear to God, if I do all these things and then Thanos just kills them all, I don't know what's going to happen to old Johnny Boy. I may go into hiding. I don't even know, dude. Get a sex change. I don't deserve my dog anymore after that. But to be honest, I don't deserve a, a, a hoot nanny either, which is, of course, my non-demonetized name for vaginas. Is it weird that two-day-old Red Bull actually tastes better one day i think two days now actually tastes better than water i mean that's that's the real issue with uh, health these days red bull tastes better all right now i really wanted a name suggestion for this guy but of course as i just mentioned i have not posted this video yet like this is recorded really should use one of my new buddy this is recorded right after like a couple hours after the other video because again i got a stockpile before i go to scotland unless i go a week without anunnaki videos without Oh god, the nose itch without giant mega kaiju lizards and crazy ancient extinct sea creatures. That's just not the world I want to live in. I don't know if you guys, everyone caught the video from yesterday or not, but look at those flagellons go, baby. It's like Spore and Rift. Spore upgraded and made a new game. Breaks my heart, Spore made a ne me ne me never made another game. I mean, I don't get it. Like, they could have made so much money. It could have made all the money. Every one of the monies. All right, so it's time we go to the upside down because we depleted. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a rich man. I've got, I've got element out the wazoo. I got enough element for all the single ladies, but I have a bug bite as well. But um, if I use it all up to reconstruct everything, then I'm just a jackass, and that's not the world we're living in. Now that's exactly the world we're living in. But I can't just be a jackass every episode. Eventually I have to, you know, kind of get all calm and mature and make some well-calculated adult decisions. You know, like one of those boring bastards nearing the end of their lives. What are they called? Adults? Yeah. I'm bringing a fun creature. I'm tired of all these OP mamma jammas. Thor. Thor is a magnificent specimen. Thor is able to- he's capable of dying. He's not invincible. He's basically like Thor Odinson. So freaking, like, by far the most powerful Avenger capable of taking on Thanos alone for the most part, because Odin in the MCU, or just in the comics, in all of it, is rated definitely strong enough to defeat Thanos. But, um, obviously Odin's dead. That's from Thor Ragnarok. If you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok yet, you got your- it's not my fault, it's 100% your fault. And, of course, Odin proclaims that Thor is more powerful than him now. But the thing is, can't Odin just get shot in the head, like... I'm just, I, I just, I'm some special forces a mile out, like, just wait till after they're done battling, they will always stop and chat. Either that or he's gonna go squeeze Natalie Portman's butt or something. Either way, you're gonna have your shots. Now, what the hell is going on over here? Just a whole bunch of pure evil. It's always important to come through here every once in a while, because this is essentially Carnivore Island. When, um, when rare stuff starts spawning, or when, like, when mods add new crazy stuff, they usually come here first. Which is just the worst thing in the world, but, um, you know, whatever. What is that? Oh, it's a spine? I thought it was a giant front fill on some, on some giant crazy creature. Guys, place is just ghetto as hell. 
See, I'm about to buy a house, and I'm about to buy a house in LA, which is, I've been about to buy a house in LA for like five months now. Because there's only like 50 houses for sale at any given time, and it's like, okay, well, this one had a stabbing last week. This one hasn't had a stabbing in years, but they're very frequent shootouts. Hmm. Or I could just go over here. Oh, but look, it's two bedroom and cost about 15 million. Her, I guess we gotta go back. It's ridiculous! And, um, I'm just kind of thinking about it. I couldn't imagine going through this kind of boat now. Wow! I haven't gathered element out of these things in a long time. I guess the map's been updated since then. They've... They've really cared about the little guy. Look at this. I understand. We can't get red gems and green gems here. This ain't aberration. But now we can! And we can just get elemental shards out of these things, too. Right from the source. I don't even need to break it down. Alright, I'm definitely gonna come back here another time, though, because, um... There's barely any of these crystals. There's usually thousands of these things out front. They're, they're all kind of up here Into the more ghetto area Dude, you only get elemental shard from these things. I think that's cool. Oh lord. This is what I was trying to avoid That's definitely cooler though than before because I haven't gathered I don't think in months I just kind of spent like a full like six hours straight watching movies and gathering elements with like extreme gather rates on the server and pretty much unlimited elements as far as you could see I was able to come away with like millions, but um, 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 um It was it was kind of a cheapo way for anybody to just get element, you know anybody could just run over here grab it and then run back There's no need to defeat any endgame boss or anything, but now this is cool You can only get elemental shards from it. You can't get element this way. You got to do that a much more difficult way I'm watching you, tough guy. They also, I guess, is not the way to gather element at all anymore. I guess, and thank God I stockpiled in the before time. That's the advantage of having been playing this map for months. All right, my camera's died. Time to go grab another battery. Uh, yeah, this, this is like a very expensive, uh, expensive, very expensive, nice camera. But I, when you, I talk for five, six hours at a time sometimes, baby. Well, I wouldn't be doing my job as a scientist if I didn't go take a look at what's in the water over here. Obviously, I have to do it quick because things die like hotcakes around here. I don't remember where I had a stash of health potions. The last thing I want to do is go craft a bunch of health potions, but I had a stash. They're on some creature's inventory. I'm just saying this because I feel like this creature would certainly appreciate that stash. We could... Okay, this is a problem. This literally, it's got... I remember this happened before. Sorry, I'm trying not to throw up Red Bull right now. I remember it happened before and um, it was bugged out for a while. I do realize it's my fault for leveling the creature with the machine before. But how do you keep gathering DNA? Are you simultaneously doing it with the surrounding creatures? Why are there so many wardens around here? It's a real issue. Thank God we've really upped our game on the warden slayers. I mean, at least it's going to be really easy when we go fight Thanos. Now I think about my, my hot bar is just going to be all Pokeballs. I'm just going to go out of like some freaking Pokemon boss. Like, calling about all the... Oh, gosh, it's going to be scary. I guess we'll just have to be able to... What the... <laughs> Mishnables. I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest. But hopefully it works out for the best. With the creatures like this being added, it definitely should be easier. Because this guy is able to destroy Wardens. The freaking World Snake over here just obliterates Wardens. Actually... Beautiful. I love how they're just in my hot bar. World snakes are starving. All right, time to feed the world snake. Just eat him. This guy should be dead. We're on the world snake. Yeah, see the saints. There we go. World snake needs a little snacky poo. The world snake is amazing. It does not give a single poop about anyone's feelings. That other thing needs to become as strong as the world snake. Hopefully it's able to, even though I kind of leveled it before putting it in the machine like I shouldn't have. That was very foolish. Dude, the world snake is way bigger than that guy. Good lord. That is that is as true as it gets. You're, you're in my inventory, right? So then Varen, I suppose I'll keep you here. As kind of look out for my fish. This is like, I understand Thanos, battling Thanos is our main focus in life, but I really am liking the thought of having a cool aquatic world, especially as we keep finding more and more cool aquatic creatures. Um, although I do also need to build a new land base. I have a lot of base building to do. I have a lot to recover in life. My life is in shambles. What's going on down here? I'd like to add to these shambles. Wow, could not be more crystal clear down here. I mean, like, perfect. Like, nothing I hate is right next to me. It's absolutely amazing. Prognothodon. I think it's pretty much clear. This is like a heavy megalodon infested area. I have to kill megalodons here constantly. 
Please be passive tame. Unfortunately, these are all from a mod that's generally not the brand newest. Just some of the creatures in it are new. Much before the mod dev got all creative with his crafty or his taming methods, where now in his new mods you have to like sprinkle the left butt cheek of a of a stripper's booty. I it's just ridiculous some of the tames. I can follow the green arrow in you, buddy. Please don't go to hostile creatures. If you go out into the open water, even like a hundred feet that way. This whole story is going to be very different. I'm not going to enjoy it at all. Why aren't you down yet? What are you made out of? Don't you know what I'm shooting you with? Okay, he's he is very much asleep. That's what's going on here. Hey, I forgot I need food. I'm hoping they tame with prime meat. These guys tame last episode pretty peacefully with prime meats. Do you have any prime meat on you, buddy? You know, I knew he didn't, and I still had to go check. The fool. This will just rely on the world snake for another big thing. You know, funny story about the world snake. He actually wasn't supposed to play a part in this series whatsoever. The world snake was just going to be here for fun. But um, then the game decided to be a complete bullcrap on us. And I decided to bullcrap back on the game, basically. Just with these creatures with like 30, 40, or 400 million health. To an extent, you're just like, all right, if you guys are going to just go ahead and get your strongest mega creatures in here, then two can play that game, you bastards. I don't know which kind of meat you prefer. I've never wined and dined with one of you guys before. Could be fish. Could be both, man. Oh, God, murky poop water. I wish there was a version on this, on these glasses, on these goggles, whatever, to, um... Whatever it is, let's check if it's- I think it's prime meat. Yeah, dude, those prime meat or fish. I'm not really sure which one's doing it. I'm not gonna mess around with this, though. I didn't look at the numbers what they were before. I'm just kind of stumbling through life right now. I really thought life was gonna go down smooth, but after last episode, I'm totally shook. And now just kind of still heartbroken. Very heartbroken. Plus, there's still many new creatures added. Mostly sea creatures. And I have to get at least a few of them so our, our, our cage isn't embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Our cage can't be embarrassing. If our cage is embarrassing... Then what do we do with our lives? I don't think I'm necessarily going to expand it huge today. I'm more focused on like, I guess just, I think I have enough uh, element bag of base to create at least a couple teleporters. We don't need six. I wasn't using six. We just need to make two and then our army will refuel that way. What's going on, handsome? This thing is humongous. I love its giant sea turtle styled flippers. That's my favorite part. Oh my God, it doesn't need a saddle. You're just my favorite kind of creature, aren't you, buddy? This thing is like a sea titan. I love its flippers. Look at those tiny flippers. Those flippers gotta be working some serious overtime to carry this giant creature. Are you serious? Those are the hardest perfect working flippers in the business right there. The body stays kind of stale while it wiggles. I think that'd be my only like issue with this thing. But obviously I just have to find some sort of complaint for some of the comment section does. Look, it could, it could, it could swim forward on its belly. Only dolphins and this creature can do such epic things. What a horrifying gullet it has. I'd hate to get stuck down that. Good lord. Yeah, see, that's a nice size comparison for you. That's a big fish right there. That's a big honking spanking creature right there. Alright, now I'm positive. Because I also saw something earlier right before I started recording that died. But it was also a very epic sea creature. It was like way, way over there though. Oh my god, that poor child. What's going on? Look at this poor isolated little poopums right here. Oh my god, poor dingus. If this hits, if this hits, then I, I want a million dollars from somebody. Well, I guess I have to get a real job now. See, that creature's super dope, but he's more of just something awesome that we're going to have swimming around our giant fish tank. Ultimately, he's not going to be a power player in, like, the, the main main event i think i don't want to clone the world snake that seems so freaking lame but i mean it would work all right so right here is dna extraction kit this is how you clone stuff i'm not going to clone the world snake that was a bad time to mention cloning the world snake i just generally want to have cloning ships ready because that i need to see if it's a better way of cloning than um than using the cloning machines because now that element can't be super easily gathered like that it really does make me want to explore alternate methods of cloning our creatures because now I can't just be pissing it away by like the by the millions every day with no issue. So this one apparently you just find a creature, you put them asleep through whatever kind of methods thou wishes. You drag this in there, consume it. 
and now we have 139 DNA. That is so shrippy looking. See, what confused me before was, um, um, I thought it had to be the exact- Ah! Oh! What in Cotton Panties Hellscape Dookie shit? What? I ran out of gene rated names! Are you kidding me with that sort of time? Do you expect me to honestly live that long? 3,500 seconds? How dare you? You! No one can know what was done here today. FBI is just gonna find this thing with like arrow wounds to the skull. It's gonna be clear somebody assassinated but did not eat it. It's gonna come back to me. I've watched well enough shows to see this sort of thing play out. But if the body's exposed to water for days, weeks at a time, the bloatedness will have its impact on the corpse and make it harder to trace. Go on, Tommy. Alright, let's go see if there's anything left of our stupid base. Oh God, it's just, just, you know what, Johnny, it happens, okay? Like, what, what the hell? Imagine how, like, well, I don't mean to sympathize with the Nazis, but I'm sure they had a good amount of forts get overthrown and everything, you know? At one point, they controlled most of Europe, and then they went down to just, like, some homo in his bunker with a gun who shoots himself. So, I think they, I think Hitler generally knows what's like to lose some territory. And, um, what the hell was I even talking about again? I'm just picturing Hitler shooting himself. What a cowardly way to go out. Disgusting. Go out like a man. God, what a weenie. There was like millions of families across Europe who deserved to see that body dangling back and forth from a noose like Mussolini. And no, he goes out and is in a basement of a bunker like some panty waist. Makes me sick. Alright, so right here, the stat point token. No, that's not what we wanted, you dingus. I had no idea you could craft these. I mean, I never would have even if I could, because with one of these and a and a doge, you can get a lot plus biotoxins. Never been easier to harvest with our giant turtles. This is what we need right here, though: a cloning clone token. So it turns out this is not necessarily easier than other things, other methods. It's like, do they all really? Does it have to? You can't just use it again forever. And do you think now? Here's the other question: Does every dinosaur, every creature, give you the same amount of? The same amount of DNA. If I t if I knock unconscious a higher level beastier creature, like a Bronto or even like a Dodo Rex or something, does it in turn give me more DNA for cloning? These are the scientific things we must explore. I don't care about arrow stacking whatsoever. Every time I kill a a, a, a warden, I get butt loads. See. It doesn't appear to be, it appears to be different. And this Bronto gave us a lot more DNA than that last creature. Ooh, doggy. Yes, give me all the DNA. No, yes, what, what was that? That was, see that? Now we got a thousand DNA ready for one token right there. That's frostier than donkey turds, man. But there's, sometimes I wish I didn't say these random things. But to be honest, it's really like, I, I come from a person, there's another one right there. I, I come from years and years, even my mom never stopped me from cussing as a baby because she, she would laugh too hard. So I, I've never been, I've never once had to speak non-offensively. I couldn't even think of what the hell to say right there. But YouTube is making me, but it's okay. Once I get back from Scotland, then it's back to like insane amounts of streams where potty mouth are flowing. You might be the farthest located Odin I've seen yet, to be honest. That, that might be the one. He takes the cake. All right, over this mountain, sometimes there's a good amount of Dota Rexes. If we can manage to get one asleep. I do remember that being an enormous issue at the beginning of the series, though. We were, for like five, ten episodes, we were not able to tame... Yeah, there's one right there. For like five, ten episodes, we were not able to tame... I was like, wow, those things are huge, but they're just standing on top of each other. Still seem kind of crazy. An ironwood ent, some kind of beast. Some sort of boss. I think they're attacking me right now. Freaking hippie ass tree people. And come on, buddy. Trying to hit you with those fireballs, you dirty Sanchez. I don't know how much damage those things do, but they've got to be some sort of powerful. Come on, buddy. Oh! Sweet Jesus! Good thing we have like the bossiest boss armor in the world. Okay, good. Just focus on something else. Stay focused, buddy. Don't lose focus on your goals, pal. Holy shizen, that thing is huge! Is that just a regular old ironwood tree ant? Why was it so big? What the hell was that? All right, we got him asleep. That's what I'm talking about, baby. No, but seriously, why was that? Are they all that big? I feel like that other one was really like a giant ass tree person, though. So I guess it's just, that's just how much you can use it per creature then. 
Oh, you're about as much as the other. And then you can't use it again on a sleeping creature for that long. That makes sense. I thought it was just permanent usage for some reason. I don't know. It's, it's Cloning creatures is a very, very OP thing. So, and some mods really make you want to work for it. So I wasn't sure if that's how it was working or not. So we just got a buttload of stuff. I'm a little flabbergasted at the amount of giant tree ants around this area. Certainly figured out a plot twist on how to make it even crazier. Like, all right, tree ants are getting old, you know. Everyone's pretty much aware that they're friends with hobbits. Once you're friends with hobbits, everyone knows you're a peaceful person. How do we break this? Make them giants. It works, man. You gotta stick the landing, Johnny. Oh my god, this is why you're gonna die alone. Alright, get up there, you stupid- What is this? It's taking- Yo, it's- It's done it. It's- It's actually gone on a thing of- What, what are you doing to me right now? What, what? The suit! The suit has gone crazy! Oh no! Hang on. Stop it. There we go. Okay, it was just- those pants were too powerful for us, is what happened. This is some powerful pants. Happens to the best of us. Eventually, we all end up just butt naked with Wolverine claws in life. That is the life we're living. I mean, it's, it's bound to happen. You know what? We're nowhere as smart as Tony to freaking make a Iron Man suit. Are you serious? We're more like that goober in Legends of Tomorrow in his Adam suit. Alright, so we've got you. Oh, look at all that DNA we just splashed in there. More DNA than is splashed on your mom's face. Oh, snap. All right, so we've got enough for you. Two cloning tokens, eh? That's one powerful Sheila right there just to grant us a cloning token. Now, how does this kind of process work? We just eat it and then we're cloned? Hmm. Sounds kind of scientifically fuzzy if you ask me, bud. Well, let's go check out a creature we should really tame. I mean, a creature we should really clone. Not the world snake. I refuse to tame the world or to clone the world snake. It just seems like way too much of an easy cop out, you know? Like, it's not a, a glorified ending. Like, oh yeah, we killed him with 20 giant worms. Like, how amazing. But you guys could be our little backup flying in the sky, doing your things. Those dragon heads are essentially completely worthless at this, at this point, but they used to be so useful. Let's just put one of you in there. And then what do you do? Wait, how do you use this? Use with dino station to close. Oh, okay. So it's got to be. Okay, well, this is silly. Hang on. I need an extra Pokeball, and the World Snake's got one in his inventory. World Snake, I need to check your pockets, bud. I wonder if you have to have a separate Pokeball ready and everything, or if it's just not the way it works. I, I don't know why that Pego's not bugging me right now, but thank God. I'm so sick of everything. I think that's where all my food went before. I had to make- I, I went all last episode without any food. I'm just like the ultimate single guy. If there's not food, I will just starve and die. It's much easier that way. I have to climb up my own damn staircase with Wolverine Claws. I hate everything so much right now. Luckily, it's not that hard to run around back because we're so beefy once we die. Like, we just have the craziest metahuman speed once we die, and half my base has been blown up, so, um, it's easier to go around now. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, God knows it's just destroying my mind. All right, right here. Nope, that's... Ego, what's going on, buddy? So, Ego, let's go ahead and clone you. Let's drag those clone chips in there. Yeah, it was right in my face. Clone Dino. Oh my god, and now we have two Egos. Oh snap, but what if I do it again? <gasps> Three Egos? That is just the most egotistical thing I've ever heard of in my life. No, no, no. Get World Snake out of there. If you leave World Snake in there, you will never see World Snake again because you are one messy bastard. Let's check this out. One ego, two egos, three egos. I'd call this a pretty effective way of cloning our army right here. We just have to go extract some DNA, which is very easy with this right here. And now our army shall be quite the formidable, formidable, making up words, just, just basically pain in the ass group. We definitely need a lot more Raphases in here though, because these guys also spent about half the fight flying in circles, not doing anything. But their freaking health regeneration is astounding. Their ability to dodge hits because they're constantly flying is just beautiful. They do only have 2 million health, though. That is... Or 200 million. That's why they're just foot soldiers of the apocalypse. I'd say they're like lieutenants. If if the Odins are like pawns, these guys would be like... Bishops? I'm not right, really sure, but at least we have a new tactic. So yes, make sure to drop a name for a giant sea creature, which I definitely have to go make a cage for, I almost forgot. And yes, I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! <laughs>